Due to the nature of this video, viewer discretion is advised. We're going to show you how to catch, kill, and clean a green iguana for survival situations. This is going to come extremely handy, especially if you live in South Florida where green iguanas are everywhere and you're legally allowed to harvest these invasive green reptiles. What inspired me to start a YouTube channel, coming out here catching iguanas and seeing the iguana run. That's, that was the name of my first channel iguana before run? it was the iguana man. Called it Iguana Run, but then you know, eventually I just evolved. It's so cool how someone random put this here and it motivated you to do like a channel. Oh my god, bro. there's a lot of females out right now, y'all. Should I get some eggs? A lot. Look at the cup. Look at the pattern. Look at the pattern. Big female iguana. Mouth flared right open right now. I got the pole, bro. Do you want fish eat? Oh, this female. Stomach looking a little full. Oh. What do you think? She might have eggs? Bro, I think it's a definite chance that she has a lot of eggs. He was able to sneak up on this nice female iguana, put his lasso around her. Just like that, y'all. A little patience, a little perseverance. He's got a nice female iguana with eggs. And colors. That is insane. Do you think they can just change to the colors of their surroundings? Or do you think it has something to do with hormones or genetics? Let us know in the comments down below. Hormones are everywhere, so she's just, you know. Super defensive and stuff. Exactly, protective of her territory, like that, waiting for a good alpha to come by. Now, if you guys are wondering at home, what is the perfect size iguana to eat? Iguana time just caught the perfect specimen for y'all right here. This is it. It's not too big, it's not too small. What'd you call them before? Slot size? Slot size, yep. yep. This is like the perfect slot size that you want to eat in iguana. The meat should be pretty soft, pretty tender, and have a nice flavor. You guys got to remember that these iguanas are invasive species. So we're doing our part catching as many and eating as many. It could be about 50 iguanas that he's preventing from going into the ecosystem. Yep. Viewer discretion is advised. We're going to show you how to kill and clean a green iguana after you catch it. My preferred method of euthanization is the air rifle. Just load a pellet in there. This way is super fast. No suffering for the animal, and you want to give them one direct shot. To euthanize your iguana, what I like to do is I like to clean them out. So right here we have this fence pole. Mm -hmm. I could just stick them in there. Just, just like this? Yep. Put it right there so his hips stick right there. Easy enough. Now basically when the iguana bleeds out, blood's gonna go in the grass, earth is gonna be able to reabsorb it. Mm -hmm. And think about it, that's gonna be less blood on you, you yeah. know, while you're cleaning them. Yeah, it sounds a lot cleaner too. Yep, so we're gonna let him just chill for a little bit, probably like a good five minutes. Okay, okay. He'll be bled out and then we can start the cleaning process. Mm -hmm. Give his belly a nice scrub, get all that loose dirt off. Got our $3 knife at Walmart. Careful just to get the skin and not puncture any of the innards. And you can see this iguana right here is just absolutely full of eggs. That is insane. All right, you see how they have this white casing around it? That lets me know that these eggs are developed and mature. When the eggs are yellow and small, they're kind of chalky tasting, not as flavorful or texturally pleasing as these ones. Look at this. Look at this. Look at that. Now what you want to do is give it one nice, swift chop like that, break the breastbone, and there are the internals. Now that we bled this iguana, you guys are seeing why it's a lot less bloody than what it would have been. And don't be alarmed if the nerves start twitching and stuff like that. You got to remember, these are basically living, breathing dinosaurs. Give it a nice grab like that. There we go and remove all that intestine. 
after you gutted your iguana, the next step is you want to skin it. What I like to do first is take off the claws. Just hit it right where the joints are, and it will make it a lot easier. Just like any other animal, you want to score the meat on the arms. This is basically the outline of the animal's skin. you scourge your iguana what you want to do is start working around the shoulder after you free the first shoulder start working around the back and free the other shoulder After you freed both shoulders, grab them and give the back a nice brisk pull. After you free the entire body of the iguana, the next step is you want to skin the tail. Now, I highly recommend before you start, score the bottom base of the tail with your knife. Once the tail is scored, Give it a nice, brisk pull. Be patient. And just keep working it. If you run out of patience, just cut off the tail. I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial on how to freshly kill and clean an iguana. Add this meat in this crock pot. We have some vegetables right here. We have some broccoli and some eggplant. We're gonna add that in as well. Can't forget our salt. This is all gonna slow cook and basically combine and get nice and soft. Now that right there looks pretty good. It would probably come out okay if we just leave it like that. But we have some ready to cook Thai green curry right here. You can use it for chicken. It's got coconut milk in it. So this is really flavorful, really fatty. Look, it just says add meat and vegetables and that's exactly what we have in this crock pot. Oh, dang, that smells good. Let's go ahead and add the green curry. It's time.
time to just add the lid and let it slow cook for four to six hours until everything is fork tender.